Grasslands, today I have some amazing news in regards to temperate grasslands. These grasslands are covering all temperate locations throughout the world. This could be anywhere up to freezing temperatures and to the point of drought. But drought isn't the problem with grasslands. So why is the world slowly declining in grasslands and it all comes back to the soil food web so temperate grasslands today i'd love for all our friends on youtube to give us a thumbs up on this video in regards to temperate grasslands and if you have any questions put them down into the bottom of the questions and comments box to allow us to respond to you and give you the right answers in regards to grasslands. Now I'm going to cover a few topics today. That's animals on temperate grasslands, how to establish grasslands and an overview of temperate grasslands. So in temperate grasslands, there's a few hundred species of flowers and herbs, brassicas, and all sorts of uh, grasses and uh, yeah, grass types, flowers, and all the rest of it. Now, this is to work in harmony. Please understand that I'm not a specialist in the field, but the network that supports me uh, in our quest to rejuvenating grasslands throughout the world. Currently we're in Australia and we are establishing million acre properties with new grasslands and it's so easy. I do not understand what the big problem is throughout the world uh, with climate change. We can change this by introducing grasslands across all the desert. Uh, so animals. These are the subjects that we're going to touch base on. Soil, climate and animals. So right now, animals. Temperate grasses are and do have a low density of wildlife, but a high abundance of animal wildlife. This is proven in past projects, which was developed to create grasslands and over large scale properties. So that's about animals. So you can have an abundance of animals like cows in any one location, but you need to consider many, many different areas um, of the soil food web and the hail dance networking industry uh, the leaders in in providing an, a holistic approach to rejuvenating grasslands. So climate. Grasses survive in any location. That could be minus 40 degree temperatures to 60 degree um, Celsius. So why is it so hard to establish temperate grasslands? Well, Hail Downs Networking Industry has the answer. So jump on to YouTube, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and spread the word that climate change is able to be redeveloped and all our efforts can go straight into grasslands to reducing climate change. And this starts with farmers, farmland, and basically any land that's desolate. Hailands Networking Industry are able to come in with a one, uh, one pass. So we go through once and we basically don't have to go back again uh, to do any more work. Because once we do, uh, once our services have been completed, then the systems that we put into play allow the, the whole environment to fix itself. 
the only reason why we achieve this and we do this is to kickstart the environment um, and grasslands. So about soil, grasslands have the richest soils throughout the world. This is for a number of reasons and our very network has the answers and you will see each of them in a large scale. Properties around the Australia is turning around with our services. So it's an emergency, same as outside currently. Emergency to replace grasslands throughout Australia, all across the world. And Hale Dan's networking industry are online. Leave comments in the box below. Uh, don't forget to click and subscribe. But most of all, give us the thumbs up on the video and what your thoughts are on grasslands because climate change shouldn't be happening and Hale Dan's networking industry have the answers. So just to touch base on threats because I don't want to leave this out. So poisoning of wild dogs, why? This is a problem because these main tame the movement of large and vast um, wildlife across landscapes. Moving the livestock is key. So that's one key uh, in establishing and, and keeping a system flowing. Uh, we're giving away our secrets today. So feel, feel very proud that we are providing this information because our services we, we are so passionate about providing information so people can put this systems and keys in play. Steel ploughing, why? Because this turns the humus and clay and sand, killing the soil food web. Now this is a whole different section and we also cover this. Uh, overgrazing by livestock. This is the number one fundamental. Do you see overgrazing on natural grasslands of livestock? Livestock do not want to graze on properties and sections where they've defecated. And I'm, I certainly most not want, would like to eat in the toilet either. So grazing of livestock um, in one section for a very limited time and our key or rule of thumb is no more than a third do not take a th any more than a third off the top of the crop move the stock um, you can take it down to 50% but you're getting into dire straits this is because temperate grasslands go through seasonal problems such as um, Oh, uh, lack of water it's not a drought so to speak but there's not enough water being supplied to the temperate area that's why it's temperate and not tropical so notice drought is not an issue drought is not an issue this is why the fundamental of temperate grasslands is our key for services to you our specialists in every field of research into soil and life. That is why you need to become a, a part of our network. Thank you again. And this is Grasslands, Temperate Grasslands. Welcome to Haldan's Networking Industry.